So first off, I gotta say, I know you got good taste. Because if you're watching this video, that means you got the Canon M50 or you're thinking about getting the Canon M50. Now I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, there's no other camera in this price range that you can get that's gonna give you as beautiful results as the Canon M50. But that being said, there's a few accessories that you could buy that are gonna take your M50 footage to the next level. Yo, what's going on? How was your day? Yeah, mine was pretty good. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to Fulan Creative YouTube channel where we do gear reviews tips, tricks, and how-tos for creative professionals and entrepreneurs. Welcome back, guys. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Whether you're an aspiring filmmaker or you wanna start a YouTube channel, or maybe you wanna make travel videos or something like that, regardless of what you're trying to do with your Canon M50, I'm confident that you wanna get the best quality possible out of this amazing little camera. And I'm gonna help you to do it. So sometimes there's certain products out there that are, that are worth every penny. And so I put in hours, weeks, days, months watching review video after review video after review video. And so I'm gonna save you some time so you don't have to go through what I did. These are the seven must-have accessories for your Canon M50. So before I tell you about this amazing backpack that I got for 40 bucks, first let's briefly mention two things that you're gonna need before everything else. And that's an SD card, and the extra battery. These mirrorless cameras have some amazing advantages over bigger cameras. For example, their size and the fact that they're so lightweight. But the thing is that many times the batteries are also small and they don't last that long. So what you wanna do is just grab an extra battery or two so that you can have one charging while the other one is being used. That way you can shoot all day. And regarding your memory card, the best one that I've come across is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. I will go with the 128 gigabyte version as that's gonna give you about two hours recording time in 4K and probably four to six hours if you shoot in 1080 like me. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the first accessory. This backpack that I got on my back by Caden. Like I said, I paid 40 bucks for this backpack. I got it about two years ago and it's still holding up just fine. It's large enough that I could fit two camera bodies in it, four lenses, all my adapters, a small LED light and my MacBook Pro and my big old tripod. But yet it's still small enough that I could carry it with me on an airplane when I travel and I don't have to check it in. Links are gonna be in the description below for all the accessories that I'm gonna talk about. And if you hang around to the end of the video, then I'm gonna share a few links to some free downloads that are gonna boost your cinematics dramatically. So to demonstrate for you the next must have accessory, let's go outside and shoot some hoops. It's hot out here. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is video stabilization. So if you're a solo content creator like me, many times you're going to find yourself in situations where you're vlogging like I'm doing right now. But the majority of my shots are locked off shots on a tripod. The one that I have is by a company called Benro. It's the best heavy duty tripod that I found at an affordable price. If you're gonna be doing a lot of traveling or you prefer a lighter tripod, then KNF Concepts makes an awesome tripod that I'll link down in the description. So once you have your tripod, the next thing you're gonna need is a fluid head, which is this piece right here. And what a fluid head allows you to do is to get smooth pans and tilts. That way you can introduce a little bit of motion into your shots to make them more dynamic. And every now and then, I'll have to do a complex shot that requires extra stabilization. And in which case I would use a gimbal or a Steadicam. Now a good gimbal can easily cost you a thousand bucks and Steadicams used to cost around a thousand dollars. Matter of fact, there's a company called Glidecam. I think theirs still cost over a thousand dollars. But recently there's been a bunch of Steadicams that cost under a hundred dollars, which give the same results as the expensive Glidecam. And the one that I have only cost me about 60 bucks. And I'm gonna show you some shots when I was running behind my son as he was dribbling and I was hand holding my Canon M50 and I had the ESR on this stabilizer and you could see the difference that it makes. And here's another shot where you can see the steady cam in action. Now when shooting outdoors, another very important thing is the ND filter. And what that is, is like sunglasses for your lens. The reason being is that everybody loves that shallow depth of field or bokeh, which is the blurry background that you see. But when it's too bright outside, if you don't have an ND filter, and you bring your f-stop all the way down so that you can get that blurry background, what's gonna happen is your highlights are gonna be blown out. Basically, it'll look something like this. So what I just did, I took out the ND filter. And as you can see, this is not gonna cut it. So let me pop that back in. So if you wanna be able to get that blurry background and still shoot in broad daylight, then you're gonna have to get an ND filter. Just make sure you get the same thread size as your lens. That way it fits. Links are in the description. 
Yeah. It's getting a bit dark. So let's go back inside. So what's next on the list? Oh yeah, this is probably the single most important item that you're ever gonna buy. And what that is, is your key light. If you wanna be able to shoot beautiful video indoors, then one thing that's even more important than the type of camera or the type of lens that you have is the light. A key light is just a fancy term, meaning your main light source. The one that I have is called the Godox SL60W. It only costs 130 bucks, and for another 60 bucks, you can get a 120 centimeter softbox to go with it that's gonna give you beautiful indoor lighting. Recently, another light came out by Aperture. It's called the Amaran 100D, and it's better than the Godox, but that one costs about $70 more. But if you have the extra money, I would go with the Amaran 100D because it's a better light than the Godox in every sense. But don't get me wrong, I love my Godox. And as you can see, it produces a beautiful image. So once you have your key light and softbox set up, then after that, the next thing you're gonna have to consider is good audio. Crisp, clean, good audio is gonna make or break your videos. And many people would even argue that it's more important than the image quality. So I found this shotgun microphone by Tackstar. It's called the SGC600. It's a $36 shotgun microphone that literally sounds better than many microphones that are 10 times its cost. It sounds so good that I did a full review video on it that I'll link up here if you're interested in checking that out. So as you can see, I've done my research in terms of being able to spend the least amount of money and get the most bang for your buck. And I've put links in the description to all the items I've talked about. And if you have all those things, that's pretty much almost a complete studio. And not for the bonus part, guys. Everybody likes free stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna mention is DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is a professional video editing software. And if you don't have it, you should get it, it's free. And one of the main features of DaVinci Resolve is its color grading capabilities. Now, an easy and effortless way to get a beautiful color grade on your footage is by using LUTs, which stands for Lookup Table. It's basically a plugin that you're gonna apply on your footage that's gonna give you an automatic, instant, creative look. And there's all types of different LUTs that you can use depending on the type of color grade that you want. And if you go to my website, fulancreative.com, you could download two free LUTs to get you started. I also have a LUT pack that you could buy for 15 bucks that includes seven creative LUTs, such as teal and orange juice, which is the LUT that I'm using right now. And if you wanna learn how to color grade your footage, there's a video I made called How to Grade Your M50 Footage. But it really doesn't matter if you're using a Canon or a Sony or any camera. The process is basically the same. And you'll see the thumbnail after this video. So I hope that helps, guys. It's your boy Fulan signing out. Peace.